was just saying, you know, good morning, faculty, parents, esteemed guests, and most importantly, this extraordinary fifth grade class. Welcome to the fifth grade ceremony. Our last, unfortunately, fifth grade ceremony of Katie Martin. But thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here. Today. Today we gather here to celebrate an important milestone in your young lives, the culmination of your elementary school journey. And it's with great pride and joy that I stand before you as your principal, as we celebrate the accomplishments, you, I bid you a very bittersweet farewell. First and foremost, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. Your hard work, resiliency, and determination have led to this moment. And over the years, you've displayed a dedication to our school involvement in activities, and kindness and respect towards others, peers, and your teachers. I'd like to express my deepest gratitude for the incredible teachers and staff that played an integral role in shaping your education. They have been more than teachers. They've been mentors, guides, and role models. They believed in you, they challenged you, and celebrated your achievements. They have instilled in you a love of learning and prepared you for the challenges that lie ahead. Let's give them a round of applause and thank them for their <laughs> Of course, we also need to acknowledge the support of our families. Your parents, guardians, and loved ones, thank you for entrusting us with your education of your children and the well-being. You have been the pillars of their strength, their cheerleaders, and their biggest supporters. Your encouragement, love, and sacrifice have helped them thrive. And today we celebrate not only their accomplishments, but also the dedication and support of their families. So students, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the people who supported you along the way. And I'd like to ask that you all stand, take a look around, find a moment, find a face, a caregiver, a family member, and wave and say thank you. Again, I think it's at, at Katie Mark we always talk about family and and your home family is just as important as your school family, if not more important, because they're gonna be with you through thick and thin. They're gonna be the ones that support you for everything you do. And remember, we use the L word here, they love and care about you. Um, and so remember that when they drop you off in the rain and you miss the bus and you run inside and I tell you, make sure you say goodbye to your mom and dad and say thank you, it's important, they'll remember. All right, this class, more than any class that I've had, exemplifies the Canadian family and its supportive culture. This class is more to support each other in our school-wide community. In a moment, you're, you'll hear from this class's accomplishments that you volunteered your time to help others. You helped young friends with reading and math. You took time away from your recess to support your young peers. That alone is a miracle. You were, able, you were a pal to those who needed a friend and took risks by standing up to sing and dance and try and act and play and, or play an instrument. You are vital in creating a welcoming, a welcoming and belonging place for all students in, in our building. In the process, you not only motivate our students, but you motivate our teachers and staff, and you motivated me. As you move forward, please don't forget the impact you had on the community you helped build here. Take what you achieved, the values you, you've embraced with you on your journey. Carry forward the spirit of kindness, inclusion, and support that defines our Katie Markley family. By doing so, you'll continue to make a positive difference wherever you go. Think about that. Think about what we did here. This class, more than any other class, supported Best Buddies, which you're gonna hear about. Took time away to support one, one another with super friends. Were willing to go above and beyond and sacrifice your own time to help others. This is an amazing accomplishment. You should all be very proud of yourselves. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff, I extend my heartfelt congratulations, and once again, you made us proud. And we cannot wait to see what incredible things you'll do in this world. Congratulations. In a moment, I'd like to invite
invite our student council officers to come to the podium to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, and then they have a few words as well. Executive Committee. This year, our school participated in Rubicon's recycling effort. It is called Trick or Trash. It is, it is a recycling program to reuse used candy wrappers for products such as doggy waste bags and other plastic items. Additionally, this year, KDI made over 200 Valentine's Day cards for the residents and patients at the Veterans Hospital in Kentsville. We also wrote letters to veterans for the Philadelphia Flight Project. Our hope is that they know we appreciate all their hard work and service to our country. We also sold snacks at the P PTO's family theme night. We provided free tattoos for everyone who wanted one at Arcadia and Spring Fair. The money we raised went to buy food for the people's pantry. With that being said, I would like to thank all the teachers. First off, I would like to thank Dr. Hawkins, Mrs. Kyler, Mrs. Ober, Mrs. Wilson, Mrs. Galetti, Mrs. Conopato, and Mrs. Shields, and every single teacher for making my years at KDM and my memorable ones. Thank you so much for giving me all these incredible opportunities throughout the years. And thank you to my friends, teachers, parents, and staff who made these six years coming at KDM work coming to every single day. Remember, today is more than just a ceremony. It is a celebration to remember all the days of working hard and learning. So just remember, stay true to yourself, chase your dreams, and never follow someone else's path unless you're alone in the woods by yourself. <laughs> Together, too. 
On behalf of KDM Student Council, we would like to say a big thank you to Mrs. Over for her guidance and dedication to our student council and our school community. We are thankful for all Mrs. Over has taught us about serving others. Thank you so much, Mrs. Over. Council Executive Committee, everybody, one more round. That was amazing. All right. Students, if you're part of Student Council, you see your name, please stand up, turn around, say hi to your parents, and be recognized for all your efforts. Thank you, everyone. All right, at this point, we're going to start giving out certificates. So we're going to bring everyone up one by one. They're, every teacher who is part of a, a program is going to give a little bit of a narrative of what they did. And then as you see your name, students, as we practiced yesterday, if you see your name, you're going to stand up, be recognized again, and you sit down. You're going to get your certificates when you go back to your homerooms. There will be a folder with all of them in there. And parents, as you're going to see, uh, this class was exceptional with the amount of activities and support that they've done for this building. So with that, let's uh, bring after school sports, Mr. Ellis. Hi everyone, my name is Sam Ellis and I was the coordinator for after school or intramural sports this year. Students in 4th and 5th grade got the opportunity to stay after school to engage in different games and activities as they were learning the rules, learning how to be active, uh, and learning how to be a, a good teammate, a good sportsmanship, and be a little competitive along the way. If you were able to be a part of after school sports this year, please stand, turn, face your audience to be recognized. Thank you. I'd like to invite Mr. Slerno up to join me as we talk about reading Olympics. Good morning. I'm Chris Slerno, the librarian at KDM, and along with Mr. Ellis, I run our reading Olympics team. This year, the Great Valley Reading Olympics saw over 200 fourth and fifth graders from across Great Valley elementary schools read, list, read books from a list of 25 that they voted on and then compete in some reading themed activities. Over 115 of those students were right, from right here at KD Markley, and about half of them are sitting right here in front of us. Fifth graders, we're proud of your reading, reading Olympics accomplishments this year, and not that winning is everything, but one of our teams did take home the top prize from Reading Olympics this year. We are proud of all of you, so fifth graders, if you participated in Reading Olympics this year, please stand, face your families, and receive your recognition. I'll stick around for a little bit more to talk about Script to Screen. Uh, students who participate in Script to Screen have the opportunity to help create a short film both in front of and behind the cameras. This is a little awkward because you haven't actually seen the movie that you've created yet. It actually premieres tomorrow night. So far, over 350 community members have RSVP that they're coming to see your movie. That's an open invitation for any of you that are in the audience as well. Um, I have seen it. I'm really proud of the work that you've done, and I think you will be too once you see it tomorrow evening. Script to screen, cast and crew, please stand up. Face your families and see your first round of applause. Congratulations, everyone. Good morning. My name is Andrew Schreiber, and this is Michelle Hanna. We are co directors of this year's school musical, The Legend of Blue Sapphire A Journey Through Time. Um, over about seven weeks, our fifth graders worked tirelessly on producing a show. They had to learn their lines, they had to learn choreography, vocals, they even helped us build the sets and do the lights. Mrs. Han and I are so impressed with the, the, all of the hard work that these students put into the show. It really paid off. We put on three amazing performances this year. Um, you guys should be so proud of yourselves, and we are so proud of you. So students who are in the fifth grade musical this year, please stand to be recognized. Hi, 
Um, I'm Mrs. Seaton, and I'm writing on behalf of myself and Mrs. Dominski. Today we honor these talented elementary students who have dedicated themselves to the magic of music through their participation in our elementary school band and orchestra. Throughout the year, they have not only learned to play their instruments, but have also experienced the joy of teamwork, the discipline of practice, and the thrill of performance. Their hard work and passion have brought beautiful music into our hearts and laid a strong foundation for their future endeavors. Students, please stand to be recognized and please join me in applauding their accomplishments. Some of them were teams, so I want you to think about how many kids that was. We sent five fifth grade projects and five fourth grade projects to the Chester County IU Jonas Salt Research Competition. These projects ranged in topics from consumer science to engineering. Science fair projects require a lot of time and dedication, and most of that is done outside of school hours. Each student must work through the scientific method to create and execute their projects. Once the project is complete, students are responsible for designing a project board and a digital presentation. If you participated in the Katie Markley Science Fair this year, please stand up, turn around, and be recognized. I'm going to ask a few students to stand back up because the five projects we sent on to the Chester County Science Fair belong to Lucia Mignona, Rian Gandhi, Sabi Cuparetti, Pratik Aravan, Arshid Sharma, Hannah Fideko, and Nina Nino Dumswala. If you could please stand up and be recognized as well, it's a big achievement. checked. Prisha, where, I don't even know where she is. Prisha needs to stand up. Prisha Partha Sarathi also went to the Chester County IU Science Fair. That's my fault. And I'm sorry. Are we good? Are we still cool? Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Pyle Sajewski. I'm an English language development teacher here at Katie Markley. Um, today, I get to proudly recognize six outstanding fifth grade girls who work so hard as participants in this year's uh, Girls on the Run program at KDM. Girls on the Run is a positive youth development program for girls in grades three through eight. Um, it inspires individuals of all abilities to discover, build, and grow their self-confidence. Together, the girls experienced a sense of belonging and connection as a team. This year, myself and four other coaches helped to facilitate lessons that blended physical activity 
with life skill development, including managing your emotions, fostering friendships, and expressing empathy. At the end of the season, the team also completed a community impact project and participated in a 5K, all which provided a tangible sense of accomplishment and set a confident mindset into motion. For the community impact project, the girls made interactive posters that represented themes that they learned this season, such as star power, self-talk, and friendship. They hung the posters in the cafeteria to help inspire their KDM peers to always believe in yourself. I am so proud to recognize this year's fifth grade Girls on the Run participants. Ladies, will you please stand at this time and to remember, always shine bright like a diamond. here as well as the facilitator of <clears throat> excuse me, Super Friends. I want to thank all the fifth grade Super Friends for volunteering of your time throughout our school this 23-24 year. You helped out in the projects both large and small, last minute and planned, and did it all with zest. You were always eager to help out with a smile on your face and asking questions if you did not understand what the exact project entailed. You were respectful, responsible, caring, trustworthy, and demonstrated great citizenship. Some of you had a weekly job working with a particular teacher or student. Some of you did academic tutoring in math or reading. <clears throat> Others worked on building a community of positivity by writing and filling up our bulletin board in the cafeteria with take what you need positive affirmation post-its. Lastly, several of you acted as KDM ambassadors welcoming our new General Wayne families to our school both during the school day and after school for the families. In closing, I hope this volunteer opportunity has provided the groundwork for you to continue volunteering as you move through Great Valley and into adulthood. Giving of your time without an expectation of a reward is one of the greatest pleasures I like to see instilled in children. 
thank you for the giving of your time to our fabulous Cape American School community. If you have participated as a super friend in fifth grade, if you could please stand up and turn and wave to your friends. Good morning, Katie Markley. That big head up there was not Miss Allred. Uh, that is my big head up there on the thing. And uh, at, on Fridays at Katie Markley, we invite a lucky student to join Dr. Hoffords and myself to do a video morning show broadcast to the whole school through Microsoft Teams. The student co-hosts lead us in the pledge, uh, join us in random discussions about the National Day and pizza and whatever else. Uh, they give shout outs to their friends and classmates and they sign us off with a joke and usually with some kind of a hardball question for Dr. Hopper, something very personal. Uh, our student co-hosts this year have shown confidence, a willingness to deal with some nerves and a great sense of humor. So, any of you students out there, if you have been a student co-host on the morning announcements this year, thank you. Go ahead and stand at this time, turn and wave to your hands. activities that we did that we wanted to recognize just got a little bit out of order there sorry about that all right all right so uh the next two things kind of go together the colors of character and their certificates of completion in a moment we're going to have the teachers come up and define the six pillars of character uh and these are one of the, the the six pillars are one of the things that we highlight in the school community as far as what it should be to be an exceptional student here of character um, and what will happen, students, is when you get your certificate of, of uh, completion, you'll also have a pillar attached to that completion. So you're going to see your names up here again for what your teachers thought you exemplified as far as the pillar goes. So with that, it's time to get your teachers. Come on up. Good morning. My name is Carlin Christie, and I have the pleasure of being a teacher of some awesome fifth graders this spring. It is said that it takes one act of kindness and caring to change a person's life. <coughs> students who demonstrate the pillar of caring at Katie Markley are students who display kindness and compassion for others daily. These students use kind words and encourage themselves and others to do their best. Not only do these students care about their peers and teachers, but they also care about their learning. They show that they care through active listening and their curiosity in the classroom. These students are grateful for opportunities that come their way. They seek out opportunities to help others in need and always choose forgiveness. I am here to recognize all the outstanding students who truly care about others and their learning here at Katie Marketing. Remember that you really can change the world if you choose to be caring. With those being recognized for the pillar of caring, please stand at this time. today with the pillar of citizenship have repeatedly demonstrated they know what needs to be done to make their school and community a better place. These students are active members at KDM either through participating in clubs or through acting as a good neighbor. They cooperate with others and follow the school rules. Students earning this pillar of citizenship respect their parents, teachers, and all adults here at KDM. They set a good example for others through their behavior in the cafeteria, the classroom, the hallway, the playground. For example, they might help an adult clean up a mess in the cafeteria or help pick up materials that spill in a classroom. And they do this without being asked. They have the courage to do what is right, even when no one is looking. Well, students, we have been looking, and we see you. We thank you for being such a wonderful example to others at KDM. Thank you for your citizenship. Will the students earning the pillar of citizenship please stand and be recognized?
Good morning, my name is Lauren Dunn and I'm one of the special educators here at Katie Markley. Fairness. Fairness means treating others equally and playing by the rules. In school, this can involve following the rules of a game during recess and sharing your toys or games with friends and siblings. Being open-minded and listening to others, especially when they have different opinions, is a key part of fairness. It is important not to take advantage of others or blame them carelessly. Instead, include everyone in activities and treat all of your classmates with respect and equality. With those students being recognized for the pillar of fairness, please stand. Good morning, Donna Ahern, teacher of amazing graders. Respect is defined as regard for the feelings, wishes, rights, or traditions of others. Students who exemplify the pillar of respect at Katie Markley treat others the way they want to be treated. They recognize, appreciate, and celebrate the unique differences each of us bring to our school. Students who show respect, show good manners, elevate others with positivity, and work together to make sure all feel like they belong. A respectful student is considerate of the feelings of others. A respectful student strives to work cooperatively and peacefully, being careful to address disagreements with consideration and understanding. I am honored to recognize the students listed for demonstrating respect for their peers, teachers, and staff here at Catherine D. Markley Elementary. Thank you to all of you for helping make Katie Markley a great place to learn. Please stand to be recognized.
and it's it's awesome. Um, so right now we're going to give out your certification of completions. So uh, I'm going to bring up Mr. Leonard to read the names. As soon as he says we practiced before, we're going to come up. Ali, what hand do we use when we pick up the, uh, the certificate? Because we use our right to? That's right. All right. There you go. Uh, students, when you hear your name, please come up to receive your certificate. And families and friends, please hold all of your applause until the entire class has been read. I have the distinct pleasure of reading Mrs. Ayers' class. Ali Al Zubi. <laughs> Once again, families, audience, please hold your applause until all of the students' names have been read. Aylin Castro. Sophia De Leon Romero. Rian Gandhi. Carlo Juan. Sire Jacobs. Diana Jalapa. Drew Kozmowski. Mason Cropular. Jacob Cook. Gavin Larkin. Mona Leo. Quinn Mancini. Lucia Mignona. Ray Nakayama. Ayan Nakti. James O. Darley Renteria Sarmiento. Bernardo Ricomi. <laughs> Reese Riley. Martin Smith. <laughs> and we saw Henry up there too. Henry again, Gallegos McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Ahern's fourth grade class. Fifth grade class.
again. I have the privilege of reading off the names of the scholars in Mrs. Chorney Mano's fifth grade class. <coughs> Join me in congratulating, beginning with Benjamin Banks. Bryn Vogel. Byron Castro Lamus. Mariam Dilawari. William Fisk. Avery Garner. Catherine Gunderson. Rosalie Hayes. Robert Herrera. Liam Hua. Yasha Sviba Jala. Arvinson Lopez Ramirez. Praneet Malvankar. Jasani McNeil. Myra Noria. Prisha Parthasarathy. Sujit Pasupaletti. <laughs> Sullivan Powell. <laughs> Gamya Puller. Lucia Rizzo. Veer Singh. And lastly, Prevention Suresh Kailvisi. We present to you, Mrs. Chorney Manos, fifth grade class. Good afternoon. It's my honor to recognize the awesome fifth graders in Miss Chrissy's class now. Akshara Alagada. Driti Atreya. Trisana Bimangarola. Sasanth Chukana. Yay! Why did he look like that? Riley Douglas.
Rian Gandhi. Jurian Parayanos. Aaron Jitesh. Austin Liu. Benjamin Morris. Caleb Naylor. Lokia Pavalori. Bianca Procopio. Shruti Rajagopalan. Warren Root. Marshall Scott. Harshit Sharma. Jasmine Shrestha. Cynthia Tampu. Kamor Turner. And Frank Wong. Miss Chrissy's fifth graders. And now for Miss Furious class. Beginning with Nivan Dumaswala. Anna Fideka. Mache Fiorentino. Ashley Guillen Benitez. Lucas Chiang. Aradia Camara.
Anika Law. Sebastian Leon Zuniga. Hiba Lodi. Ashir Malik. Jameson Mann. Ryan Mohammed. Shreya Marugan. Divit Narahari. Pranapi Pradeep. Ruhani Sandhu. Dean Schneider. Hajira Sheikh. Shamir Shakil. Joshua Six. Aradia Verma. And Lucy Wilson. I give you Miss Furious fifth grade class. many of these ladies and gentlemen when they were in kindergarten. So we are here to celebrate Mrs. Kyler's class of 2024. Madhushri Aravind. Pratik Arvind. Peruvi Bhatt. Eliza Bricker. Justin Brook. Bryn Carpenter. Wesley Cole. Tanish Guraj Josephine Horendia Sanvi Kuparetti Marion Lee Pooja Nirola Jaden Alexandra 
Ortega, Ortega. Vihana Ravori. Angel Rea Serrano. Cynthia Rodriguez. Reese Ryan. Colin Serber. Nagash Vijay Balaji. Riley Works. I present to you the class, Mrs. Kyler's class of 2024. Well done. So, um, Mr. Bray last year did the closing, but unfortunately he, he is right now doing a 5-6 uh, activity that he did last week. So we had, uh, the fourth grade, we had Mr. Ellis come and speak to the class of the closing, and it was such a great job, I thought, you know, why not have him come up here again? I know how he's been so important in your lives as well. To come in and give a little bit of closing remarks. Parents, after the closing remarks, we are gonna do a clap through the building. So what will happen is that the students will exit in a parade out the, out the back. I'd ask you to stay seated because we're gonna come right back in here and we're gonna do a full class picture that you guys can get up and take a picture of the kids. So uh, that's what the rest of today's gonna look like. But with that, let's uh, give Mr. Ellis a big round of applause and get him up here. Congratulations, fifth grade class, for your wonderful accomplishments here at Katie Markley. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Does it sound familiar? It's from the book, Oh, the Places You Go, by Dr. Seuss. It's a popular book for graduation or when you start on the next chapter in the story of your life. I remember getting a copy of the book at graduation from high school. Let's look at the story a little bit closer to encourage you on this next journey in life. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. When I thought back on your journey through elementary school, I thought about some of the bang-ups and hang-ups that happened to your class. You went to school in a virtual world during the pandemic. You played games and ran around in the bus loop during recess time. You navigated the construction zone. Plus, you've had those days, not so good days, along the way. Maybe you're running late and you missed the bus. You have a friend issue at recess, or you're struggling learning something new. Through all those bang-ups and hang-ups, here you are. You did it. You made it. Today is your day. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You have learned a lot during your time here at Katie Markley. Your parents, family, and teachers have helped you learn right from wrong. They taught you on how to be respectful and kind. As you take the next step, you get to steer yourself in any direction that you choose. You will be faced with tough choices, with, pa with paths that lead you in different directions. Which direction will you choose to go? You're off to great places, today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Your mountain is, mountain is waiting for you to explore. As you're off to your new places, don't forget about hard work along the way. In order to enjoy the views from the top of a mountain, you first have to climb to the top. The climb can be challenging and sometimes frustrating, but with hard work and perseverance, 
you can make it to the top. Today, we celebrate all that you accomplished to be here today and look forward with excitement as you move on to the great place like the 5-6 Center. As you think about all the places that you will go, don't forget to remember the places that you've been. Your family and parents can remember when you were little and you learned to walk or when you started your first day of kindergarten, as we saw from the pictures above. They have seen you grow up, learn new things, and struggle along the way. Your teachers have had patience with you. They've had grace when you made a mistake. They cheered you up on a sad day. They have challenged you to learn new things. You have made friends and connections and memories here at Katie Markle. As you embark on the next journey, it is exciting, and you may even be a little nervous about the next step. But remember the places that you've been here at Katie Markle. Congratulations, fifth grade class of 2024. Alright, we're now going to start our 5th grade walkthrough. Parents, please stay seated where you are.